Meghan Markle decided not to follow in Kate's footsteps and hold baby for this reason. Meghan Markle decided not to follow in the Duchess of Cambridge's footsteps and hold her newborn baby during the iconic photo call this week where her and Prince Harry revealed their baby to the world. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry introduced their newborn son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor to the world on Wednesday after he was born at 5.26 a.m. on Monday, May 6, weighing in at 7 pounds 3 ounces during the photo call. Prince Harry proudly held the royal baby with a radiant-looking Meghan at his side as they answered questions from reporters. The royal couple posed with their bundle of joy wrapped up in white at St. George's Hall, Windsor Castle, the venue of their wedding reception last year. Royal expert Melanie Bromley told Access there is unlikely to be any official reason why Meghan was not carrying Archie except the fact she was in heels and gave birth two days ago. Ms. Bromley added, things are different with Meghan and Harry. They do not have to follow the rules. Now, look. There are no rules that say that Kate has to carry her children either. It's just what Kate and William have decided to do. And I think Harry and Meghan are good at reminding us that we can look at the royal family as this fairy tale. we can look at them from afar. We can theorize about them and what goes on really behind palace doors. But at the end of the day, this is a normal family and this is a young family with their first baby. They are about to celebrate their first wedding anniversary as well. They are ordinary people so there is no real reason why Harry chose to carry the baby except it was nice and he felt like it. For all three babies, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William posed on the steps of the Lido wing debuting their infants to the world. The Duchess of Sussex is instead believed to have given birth to baby Archie at the Portland Hospital in London and to have returned to her home in Windsor with husband Prince Harry later on Monday. The photo call in Windsor was organized after Meghan and Harry announced in March they would not take part in a public photo shoot immediately after the birth. The new royal edition was swaddled in a white merino wool shawl, costing £105 and matching 65 pounds hat by G. H. Hurt and Son. Meghan said the baby boy has been a dream and said it has been a special couple of days for the pair. During the video, Meghan said she was still trying to figure that out who baby Archie looked like. Harry added, everyone says that babies change so much over two weeks we're basically monitoring how the changing process happens over this next month really. But his looks are changing every single day, so who knows. The birth of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry baby son Archie exceeded the viewing figures compared to the birth of Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William's third child Prince Louis. On Wednesday as Harry and Meghan showed two-day-old Archie Harrison to the world, the BBC News Channel saw a 26% uplift in viewers compared to the previous week. Whilst Sky News saw a 24% rise in viewers compared to the previous week. These figures are significantly higher than when Prince Louis, who was born in April 2018. During his birth week the BBC News Channel saw just a 4% rise in viewers week on week. Sky News saw a 3% increase week on week.